Ryder, Ryder, coming. Frank? Huh. Wonder what this could be. Here's Johnny. <gasps> Just a dream. Just a dream. Hello, everybody. It's that time again. It's your favorite showtime. It's your favorite showtime. I know the Wednesday night chat show ended, but I thought this would be fun for everyone to wake up to in the morning. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock, <laughs> uh, but it's the earliest we could get together and do this. Um, this is a 21 book box back. We didn't, Mike couldn't quite fill a, an entire, it's a modern tier. Uh, so anyway, he scoured. Um, imagine that, it's hard to fill a box. Um, yeah, as I was telling Patrick here, it's, it's been getting harder to fill the modern orders, mm. um, partly by choice. Uh, I don't look for many modern books or at least 75 and newer modern books, but uh, you know, I'm chasing the more obscure books and the more valuable books. And I noticed, too, that the CGC turnaround times for moderns have been been nailing it. They're yeah. 19 days they're 19 right 19 days right now. Um, they're not behind schedule. But everything else is, is double turnaround oh, yeah. time. So yeah. um, I think everyone in general is, is looking for those you know, more valuable books, yep. the older books. And the turnaround times are reflecting well, that Well, right like now. we're saying, even a book like The Eternals now. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's too high a dollar value yeah. and high grade to go right. into the the lower price tiers. Absolutely. So now now you're at seventy nine days. Yeah, the modern tier books have to be so. two hundred ish or less, and with many of these these hot books, they're they're going over that two hundred dollar price range. So they're going to get bumped up into either the economy or and higher books tiers. like you'd never think, like Nova One. Yeah. You know, Eternals, Eternals three, uh, it, 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 but in high grades, these books are going over. We happen to have some Eternals and Nova books. Yeah, in we do. Spots. So let's see how we did. We'll anyway, them in. enough chit chat. Let's get to it. Okay. Is the old Out invoice. the invoice. Yep. And uh, oh, there's a classic. Doctor Von, Von Schiller, Schiller here. Off to the panties. Oh, he threw him on the ground with the stain. <laughs> so first one we have here. Is one of your favorites? Yes, the origination of the blue window. window. <laughs> <laughs> and I know everyone thinks I have a mental health problem, but I love this ad. I'm gonna get this blown up, I think, from my comic room. Oh yes, the that evil to evil stunt yeah. cycle. Anyway, let's see how we did. What's your guess? I said an 8.5. 8.5. Survey says, bam, 8.0. Oh, oh, we're off to a good oh, start. white pages. <laughs> oh, that's worth at least an extra prize. point. I always forget that Robin wore that outfit for a little while when he was trying to be a man, mm. I think. Yeah, had Didn't the work. leggings. Didn't work very well. Yeah, he had the full outfit going. Yeah. What was this guy's power, anyway? Oh, the star-spangled kid? Yeah. Oh, he, he had the baton there from uh, Sandman. Or the, um, well, yeah, the new Sandman. Um, cosmic powers. Hmm. Cosmic powers. I just thought he had pretty okay. costume. Let's make up for it because... This one's redder. We it's have two copies. Wonky. Two copies. I'm thinking this is a 9.2. Boom. 9.2. Nice. Okay. Right. Okay. window. <laughs> so, so this is an interesting box. Because, How many of these have you gotten? Uh, I don't like know. 50? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So interesting box in that uh, as I was scrounging around trying to come up with some mule books for Patrick's two books. He has two books in this order, by the way. And I have a stack of moderns at home that I could have brought. <laughs> but anyway. Well, at the time we didn't have them. No. So I had this kind of scrounge around and, and I had some questionable books. This one... Um, Questionable and quality. Quality, Let's, quality, yeah. quality, quality. These aren't like snuff mags. <laughs> yes. So Spider-Man 194. Um, questionable because this one had some stacking damage. There was actually a very light crease uh, on the bottom of the front cover. Um, indentation, basically. Um, not color breaking. Not color breaking. I got most of it out, but it was stubborn. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to just put it in here. I think it's a 9.0. It's barely on the edge of being great. I think it's a 9.2. Eight. Oh God! So, punish. <laughs> so, so as I thought, there's actually a very I can light. See it. There's a very indentation on the bottom. It almost looks from, like a wave. From a, yeah, from yeah. another book. 
Hmm. And uh, like I said, I just threw some books in the box. To this kind is of a book. Me. This is a book that I talked about uh, on the live chat that a. Uh, a dealer with let's say questionable morals yeah. would break out and put on there because this looks like a nine two all day long oh yeah the there's spine is no beautiful spine it. ticks it's beautiful color um yeah. yeah i'm not surprised but again this is sort of an experiment i got a couple books White like pages this. too i got a few books like this that i thought you know i'm gonna see what they do for grading it's because weird that that won't come out either it's it's got about a three or four inch it's indentation on the bottom of the front cover so a person who wants to play around with pressing that thinks they can take on the challenge and maybe wants to buy the book um, I thought I'd throw it in there. I had one of these. This wasn't in there. Um, yours was graded or sold some time ago. Oh. Nope, you never gave me one. So I picked this one up as, as part of a run of Spider-Man books, and I thought, what the heck? I'll throw it in. Um, as the Captain Marvel movie came out, this was the first appearance of Monica Rambeau. Um, I think it's barely on the edge of making the grade. Um, it's worth about a hundred bucks in high grade. It's a so. nice looking book. I called it a nine two. I know. Phew. All right. Again, got some experimental books in here. We wanted yeah, to get to and Patrick's. It does. It does have some bumps on the top of it. Yep. yep. And they're hard to get rid of. This was uh, during that era. This is uh, eighty two. I know it's from like eighty one to about eighty four. They used complete garbage paper. Yeah. Garbage paper, and you saw it in the. Uh, Eternals. Trying to yeah. find a 9-8 Eternals is hard. It is very they hard. They look nice, and then you look at them closer, and they're not that nice. Yeah. There's another nice one. So this is just a 9-0 Black Panther number one. Or break. I called it a 9-0. Trying to give me the old neck break. <laughs> give me that magic toe. And is it a 9-0? Yes, it's a 9-0. That's a great one. Okay. And the bad evil from evil app. Look at that. That's just <laughs> awful. That's sad. That's not as exciting. That doesn't as the get other anyone one. wound up. Okay, this one I know is better because this one came out of a CBCS slab. Mm. Um, we could have used this for uh, Nick does that series. Yeah, mm. CBCS or CGC. Mm. So this like this was a CBCS nine two. What do you think? And it's nine four. Nice. Okay, it's so really nice. A little small grade bump on yeah. white pages. Yeah. yeah. Now, that book is worth having graded. Most of these books, like I said, were kind of experimental. Okay. And speaking of experimental, experimental. This, these, is, this is a good one. These were two long shots. I just had these sitting around. I'm thinking, you know, what the heck? It's just money. I'll have these books graded. Um, and I'm going to guess this is the one that I am looking at. So It's the Huntress. Mike says in 90. 90. These these are really the nice 64 corners. 64 page bound books. Really hard to get a high grade on these books. Um, sometimes you think it looks nice. And that that is the worst outfit in DC right there. Is he bubblegum man? Bubblegum man. I'm bubblegum man. <laughs> it's a terrible outfit. It's somebody's favorite. Survey says 90. That's okay. great. So 90 is a 90. And I think that in that condition, it's probably barely, it barely makes the grade. Um, it's like a hundred dollar book. And of course I take the gamble and I have. So if you, you put that on Facebook, that's a, how about $50, bro? Yeah. <laughs> $50, bro. Come on, bro. I love the Huntress. It's let's my favorite. Let's make the deal, bro. Come on, bro. Let's make this happen. I got cash. <laughs> <laughs> eight five is what I thought this was. It's an eight five. Nailed it. I like the ad in the back. I the, do kind of like to, it. The tomain poisoning. Yeah, it's a good the idea. Ad. I never saw that ad. Really? Oh, no? it's hilarious! It's hilarious. Ah, God, that's funny. Is that, is that yours or mine? No, no, no. Both of these are yours. Uh -oh. So th this, this is this is the gratuitous grade bump. Patrick always seems to get the higher grades, even though it's all that clean living. I, I just always question why my books don't come back in the same. You won grade. the last two shootouts. I have, but every time I grade, like, we just had oh, about what, five of my books, and two of them came back less than I thought. Um, yours will come back higher than I, I thought for some strange reason. You always get the <laughs> the advantage on these. It's all that clean living. It's a nice book. It is very nice. So this is a very difficult. I, I find it very difficult to find Eternals number one, um, uh, Doctor Von Chilla's favorite book. I find it very hard to get this book in high grade. It's a dark cover. I think this is the one. I think is the nine zero. And this one I called a nine two. 
1986. Dear God, see? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The gratuitous grade bump somehow... <laughs> That's awesome. I can pick Patrick's book out of the box uh, by saying, what is the most gratuitous grade? And it's going to be your book. Uh, now, now that may uh, be... In white pages. <laughs> Jesus. Now, that may be a that may not be totally accurate because you have two. Yes. And that might we have been... We did shoot one down, though, remember? We said one's only a 7-0, and that one didn't get sent in. That's right. Um, so, I called one in 9-4 and one in 9-2. That might have been my 9-4 book. So it was a I thought two. there were a 9-2 and a 9-0. Oh, so. so I called one of these a 9-2, 9-4. one might have been that book. So for argument's sake, this is the 9-4. I don't know. This one looks nicer. <laughs> yeah, they're both so nice it's hard to tell. So all right, this could be the 9-4 book, but we'll see. 9-2. Okay, so, so actually that 9-2 right. was the previous book that I yeah. called a 9-2. Yeah. The 9-4 was a 9-6. Mm. So you got a point two. So... Um, they're I both submitted much higher than I thought. Yeah, so. I submitted five copies in order like four months ago, and all mine came back as an eight zero and eight five. I got one nine yeah, two out of that. We opened it on air. Five, yeah. yeah. So you open. just you just crushed it. That nine six is uh, That's is great. a good book. That's a good day. Oh, okay. I have a couple copies of this one. Okay, another kind of long shot book here. This book um, has been like a roller coaster the last five years. Yeah. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Just had a very nice copy. Barely makes the cut for submission as far as value goes. I always goes. thought his pink gun was the funniest part of this cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why right. I never noticed maybe that. Maybe he took that from Bubblegum Man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now, the Evil Knievel ad in the back of this one is really nice. It is kind of bitching. Look at that. You, you could be on the back with no seatbelt flying off yeah. as he goes over Snake Canyon and, break all and your plummet bones. to your death along with yeah. the evil people. And he has his, his, uh, his rock. He does get the Snake River Canyon jump. Yeah, and he's, he's got, got a everything. bitching chopper on I want to be this kid here coming off the back of the bike at like he's 200 so, miles an he's hour. He's so dead. Yeah. So this is a 9-2. going to die happy though. 9-2, but it's a 9-2. Nice. Good. Good. Okay. White pages. Your books are all white pages so far. Really yeah. clean. I, I clean them thoroughly. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this one I forgot about this guy. It's another roller coaster. Um, Hawkeye's wife in the comics. Picked up this book in a collection. Um, Him. Who did the covers? That Michael Golden. It was done by uh, Bob McCloud. Oh. Our buddy Bob did the cover. I'll see him in a couple of weeks or in a week about. Yeah. Marvel team up. Uh, first Mockingbird. 9-4, yeah. Yeah, it was very... Oh, my God, this book was very sharp. I couldn't pass by it. So I called it a 9-4. It's a 9-4. Nailed it. Excellent. That's a nice stack of moderns. Yep. Clean. So this is my sole and only... I guess sole means only. Uh, my sole personal collection book that I've ever had graded. And inspired by mine. I was inspired by Patrick. I started digging through my long boxes. I hadn't moved my long boxes in probably twenty years. And I was looking for Stand the man cover. I was looking for a particular book. I think I was looking for the Marvel Age was a different one that had a first appearance with somebody. I forgot which one it was. This is a great graphic novel, by the way. That is really good. It, yeah, it's, it's an Bernie, old one. Bernie Wrightson uh, drew yeah. it. it. It's really good. If you don't have a crowd that it's mm -hmm. an okay story, but the artwork is worth it because there's a whole bunch of these super creepy looking, almost like Stranger Thing monsters in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's Spider Man. But the story behind this was I went through like 15 long boxes. I couldn't find the book I was looking for. I found this and I thought, you know what? For all my effort, I'm going to have it graded. Another experimental book, the top of the back edge has little small tears when it was cut mm -hmm. so it looks I bought this off the rack it looks like it's very high grade um, it might get dinged for that so I wanted to send it in to see what I think it's a nine call two. it I think it was nine six appearance but I called it a nine four nine six oh, okay, so they didn't take off anything they didn't for that nail little, you for that I thought they would yep because it's they, it just it, it's part of production errors what they must have counted it as yeah and, and I'm like mo I always have books graded that I'm gonna sell so all these books I always sell but that one I might keep because it was a personal collection copy yep. so you kept your books good that's yep. actually a good sign it is it's, like I said this that is, means you can pull all those books of that era this is kind of this is kind of an experimental batch of books trying to see what all comes those back. strike force books you got hidden away <laughs> cases of them cases of this is a this is a hot book. Okay, and uh, it's heating up. Richard Ryer's first appearance, yep. Nova number one. This is a another CBCS resubmit. 
This was a CBCS 9.4? Yeah, 9.4. So usually you just hope to maintain the grade with CGC. Yeah, a little magic treatment. 9.4. Nice. Okay. That's great. Yeah. There's Jack Davis drawing on the back. That's what I remember Jack Davis says, yeah. is, is that silly the sports, sports guy from stuff. the 70s. Yeah. 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 Not the EC horror artist yeah. with all the gore. <laughs> Terrifying <laughs> horror artist. <laughs> okay. And just then, hands great. Yeah, he does. He really draws hands well, especially yeah. on those horror books. It's just that... Yeah, creepy looking hands. Yeah. Always okay. like gnarled knuckles and, you know, he just yeah. does a great job with it. Another book I got in a cheap box somewhere. Mm, Frank Miller's where I first art, isn't that what that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. And I was inspired. First Marvel. Art? I was inspired because I think the last time I submitted one of these books, I got a nine point eight. Um, I picked this up for I don't know ten, fifteen, twenty bucks. Is that chamber paper I see coming out of there? No, that's just the back cover. It's just slightly mm. misaligned. Hmm. So I thought it was a nine four with the chance at looking better, but again, it just made the grade. So I thought I'll send it in. Nine eight. Wow, that's wow. two of them. Wow, two for two. Wow. Yeah, that book goes from like worth one fifty ish, maybe you know, yeah. just worth grading to like a few hundred. Yeah. So, uh, the gamble paid off in this case. But yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful looking book. It's perfect. Damn near perfect. Okay, so here's the, here's the fun, the fun gamble here. I think yeah, we've got a few. A few... Here at the, end. the Thor books. Yep. yep. Okay, there we are. Yes. And we have one right here. Raw. Yep. So I had a run of Thor. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, Thor, three thirty-seven. These were all old school cases, and I think, yeah, I think all of these like were nine fours, but they were very nice looking nine fours. This Maybe. cover I just think has a, a very much yeah. a Silver Age look. Yeah, it does. Uh, it, it's because it's just so blank, and it's not quite white. It's like a creamy background, and uh, Walt Simonson's artwork is, it, it just is a different era. Um, yeah. Like, I know I didn't appreciate it as much when it first came out, and then mm -hmm. only as I got older, I appreciated it a lot more. Uh, this is just beautiful. Yeah, book. when that cover came out on the rack, I mean, yeah. that was just, it was a different style, a different Anytime look. they smashed the, the logo, it was, it was, you know, yeah. everyone wanted that. Thing. I mean, it, it definitely had that look of a new storytelling nine style. 4 was yeah. it? Is he right? Wow, a 9-8. Wow. Insane. So I also decided to send these books in because of Stormbreaker um, and Beta Ray Bill, because I thought with... Marvel our Avengers Endgame coming out, there'd be a little bit more yeah. you know, suggestions. Or I could see Aven uh, Guardians of Galaxy three. He, he well, yeah, I mean now you know this was sent in like three months ago yeah. or two yeah. months ago, so now there's more evidence of that. So I thought you know it's a good time to have them yeah. graded. Um, so that's one. We'll kind of go through these a little quicker here. Uh, these were all previously nine four books. One is good, two is better. Yeah, five would be amazing. Do you have five of this issue? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were different doors. No, 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 they're all these. the same. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. So again, you know, nine four CGC. I old, think this is old a nine, label. This is a nine six. Nine six. Nice. This is actually a little bit whiter. They're both white pages. Yeah, they tend to start to get a little tan over the years. The one I have behind me here on the rack has yeah. got a little bit of mine was. tan. I, mine came back with a 9.2, if you remember. Yep. Yeah, that's right. That yeah. was my original, so I, I mean, I read it. Okay. Um, another 9.6. Nine, nine, nine. Yep. Oh. 9.0. I wonder what they didn't like oh. about that. We'll uh -oh. have to read this uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to look at the greater. I think that might have gotten damaged in shipping. There's no uh, way. It, yep. There's, there's a big ding right there on the corner. Oh. No, that's just the the the, uh, the the line that printed that's just a little bit wavy right there. I'll have to see. I think it's a dent. I think it's a spine dent. No, I don't see any dent and right the there. And the cape. It's straight as an arrow. Interesting. Wow. Something got messed up in shipping. It shouldn't be that far off. Now, remember that one shipment we had that we got like 10 books? Oh, I was like, yeah, and it the was horrible. The corner dents. And was... they all had the same little oh, thing in the exact corner. exact same corner dent. Yeah. It happens. Okay, that's this one's a little. I think a little brighter than the others. Yeah. Nine four. All you need is a nine two, and you hit for the cycle. Yeah. <laughs> is this the last book? Nope. Oh, we we're still more. going. All right. Still I have been counting, going. So. Okay, another CGC nine four. Let me see the front of that book for a second. Okay, it's just a different logo. Okay, this mm -hmm. is this is the direct edition. That's yep. fine. Um, another CGC 
and nine six. Nice. Okay, so, so got I got a couple nine, that were sixes. went up a little bit. Got the nine eight. Uh, that nine zero is a mystery. Well, the nice thing is you have nine six in direct and nine six newsstand. Yeah, that may and be, your nine eight is a newsstand. That may be a, a, a resubmit there. I got to find out what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, if it's a non color breaking, yeah, but I don't know. Probably if it'll be worth it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, a nine zero goes for like a hundred bucks or so, and a nine eight is like four hundred. Well, if we can go to a nine eight, I'm yeah. saying if you want to get nine, knocked six. up to a nine two, that wouldn't be cool. Yeah, we'll see. And this is another book that was red hot for a while. This was on all those guys' hot books to buy. <laughs> Go stills buy this. <laughs> Ooh. It's it's still it's still up there. Um, it's just a great cover. I can remember the day I got this. Yeah. I took off the brown paper. I went behind my grandma's house out by the water, and I read that thing. <laughs> what did you do with the book? I read it cover to cover, and it just was uh, freaking awesome. Yeah. Now, this one has a weird... Yeah, so, so yeah, you noticed that right away. So there's a strange, like, ink void um, on the... Uh, Oh, what are those exoskeleton guys called there? Uh, whatever the body armor suits they're wearing. The Knights of it, the Hellfire. It's, it's, so. it's like an orangish color, mm. orangish color, but it's where the ink didn't stick yeah. and it left a void. So it's kind of like brown. So I didn't send it in initially. I had it in a pile of books for a while. I thought, you know what? I'm going to see what CGC does for this grade. Let's Will they actually take up. off? I called it a 9-2. It's 9-0. Right. Okay, so they do ding you a little bit for they that did. little bit of a void. Structurally, I think it's a 9-2. It's so weird. It's day. like a stripe. Yeah, yeah. It's like just where the ink... Yeah. And I'm curious what the graders notes call that. I've never seen yeah. that void before. And I'm curious to see. But now I know they actually take a little bit off. I mean, it still is a 9-0. Yeah. It was worth it's grading. It's a beautiful book. Yep. Yeah. So that's it for the box of books. We're just shy of a 25-book order. Mm. It's a great order. Uh, all together. There's some boards there. So. Yay. <laughs> Your two Eternals crushed it, of course. And, I, know. I uh, think that the new stand 9-8 was the... the Oh, that's true. I got the, the bell of the ball. That's true. Yeah. In newsstand, yeah. white pages. So that was a great book. And uh, and coming up, so this is kind of an appetizer here. Coming up, we have a standard order. We should be here next Tuesday or Wednesday. Maybe. And if it gets here by Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll yeah. do a double show. Yeah. But yeah. Mike gets on a plane for Heroes Con yeah, so. Thursday morning. Yeah. So uh, for those of you that are going to be there, we'll both be there. Um, please say hey if you see us. Um, Absolutely. I am efforting to try to get either a table or a booth that I can interview uh, some of you all there and uh, some of the uh, artists and writers mm -hmm. that are going to be there. So uh, crossed fingers. We hope that, that works yeah. out. Um, mm -hmm. Also, there there's a... There's talk of an after party, possibly. Yeah, we'll uh, do some kind of meetup. Friday meet night, I think. Friday some and kind Saturday, of probably. Yeah. Um, and if you see us there, we'll, we'll give you uh, information on that because I, yeah. I think we know which club we want to do it at, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, more stuff coming. Yeah, we have four more orders in the queue, um, three economies and one standard. Like you said, the standard's going to be here next Wednesday yep. or Tuesday. And probably the economies will be here while we're gone uh, at Heroes Con. We'll do those in the following weeks. And I'm looking at about another 200 books that are going to get yeah. processed. <laughs> and sent. Right now, this is the big effort is to get everything through the bottleneck before yeah. uh, Heroes Con. Then once we get back from Heroes Con, it settles down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going through my personal collection and pulling books out that I really have deemed I don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so Call in the herd. The call in the herd. We're going to have a, you know, there's going to be some some big orders coming in i'd say by the end of august nice we should probably start having one a week i bet at this point because the pipeline's yeah, getting yeah, full so yeah if, if you like this keep coming back there's gonna be lots more of them um if those turnaround times come down ugh. yeah we'll do one a week right now they're horrific but uh yeah. con season will be kind of ebbing here in about a month yeah, yeah. or so and so I've... stop putting books in you don't yeah want to stop do submitting books you don't You're slowing us down. it's not <laughs> worth it you don't make any more money doing it yeah and i think <laughs> i've got about probably i'm down to about 500 books in the queue as far as ones that still need to go into CGC. Well, I'm, and, I'm gaming. You know what I'm thinking is the idea that you had of maybe setting a bunch of horror books in. If we did that, mm -hmm. they might get back before Halloween. Oh, that's a good point. That's all we got for you. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I know we did. I can't yeah. wait. I'm going to look at them again. It's like Christmas when you open your presents and you got to go to your grandma's. So and many then, toys. You can't, and you're sitting at your grandma's eating dinner and all you can think about is I want to get home exactly. and play with my toys. <laughs> it's like I don't want to watch my aunt yeah. opening up another damn sweater. I want to get home. I want to play with my toys. Yeah, so true. Anyway, see you all later. Bye. <laughs>
Honey. <gasps> Holy hell. <laughs>